Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasa ala, kuholoyim la. Yahweh b'ahashim yahweshai b'ahashim rakah hakodash, the honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh b'ahashim yahweshai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, just wanted to do a quick lesson on Esau is not going to get away. Esau is not going to get away. You ever see those movies where, you know, the, the enemy, just when he thought that he, you know, he slipped through everybody. Just when, you know, he's got that stupid ass smirk on his face, that smile on his face. And he's just like, he know, he's an outsmarted everyone. And then all of a sudden he gets caught. And that's what's going to come to Esau Edom. You see, Esau Edom, he's at an all of a sudden um, moment. He's about to have that all of a sudden moment, right? And all of a sudden, matter of fact, let me come back to these uh, hookups that I got here. Let me put in all of a sudden real quick. All of a sudden. Well, I know it's uh, Miss One and, um, let me see here. Oh, no, no, no. Let's put in um, suddenly. Not all of a sudden, but suddenly. Shall this calamity come upon them, man? Let me put in calamity as well. So, Locky, like bear with me. Just coming. Hey, we're just flowing in the spirit, man. This is Proverbs 6 and 15. Therefore, shall this calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Whoo. Man, that's, this is what's coming to him, though. It's going to come suddenly. You see? And that Proverbs 6 and 5, matter of fact, let's go into a little bit more on that um, Proverbs 6. Normally, I always start at verse 12. Verse 12, Proverbs 6 and 12, it says, A naughty person, a wicked man, walketh with a froward mouth. He winketh with his eyes, he speaketh with his feet, and he teacheth with his fingers. Frowardness is in his heart. He deviseth mischief continually. He soweth discord. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy he's not going to come back from what's about to happen to him see it notice it says suddenly shall he be broken without remedy he's not going to be able to come back once the lord knock his ass off that horse that he's been riding on man damn peasants riding on horses man ruling over the israelites man the children of israel you so-called blacks hispanics and native americans see a matter of fact i wanted to um kind of went into it uh that pit that he dig, man. Cause see, he's he he's dig the pit. Everything that he's doing, he. Oh my goodness. So lock you. As soon as I come out here and do a lesson, man, that's the second time that's done happened too. They just saw. Damn alarm, man. Anyway, damn enemy, man. Proverbs 26 and 27, whoso diggeth the pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth, rolleth the stone, it will return upon him. So everything that this man done pushed out on us is going to come back to get his ass. If you notice, remember when, well, y'all may not remember when the crack era went down. I, I grew up in that shit. That crack era when Esau put that crack in them neighborhoods of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, Jake was out here wilding the fuck out. Now... Just go on, you know, YouTube and pull up um Kensington in um Pennsylvania out there. And, uh, and those those particular uh that zombie type shit is all over America. The so-called white man is in these trailer parks, they're in the suburbs, they're in the 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 the, the, the gated communities, drugged out, man. Doped out, drugged out, dying off quicker than they're being born. Why? Because they're reaping what they've sown. Which I wanted to go off into that as well. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, it says, He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And whoso breaketh an e a hedge, a serpent shall bite him. See? See? You, Esau, he can't escape what he has um, put together. See, they're, they, you, they call it karma. They call it, Sometimes they'll say, you know what? What goes up must come down. What goes around comes around. The scriptures describes it as, you know, hey, you reap what you sow, basically, you know. Sirach 27 and 26, it says, whoso diggeth the pit 
shall fall therein, and he that setteth a trap shall be taken therein. So all the traps that he has set, all the things that he has done to knock the children of Israel down, to keep the children of Israel down, don't want us to know our heritage, don't know, want us to know our name, don't put our women against us, you know, our children against us, you know, just food against us, water against us, all that shit is coming back on them now. They going through this, matter of fact, Esau going through it a lot worse than a lot of Jake are, man. A lot of Jake out here doing way better than they are when it comes to jobs and and and, and situate. Cause see, Jake done kind of caught on as, as far as the man. The man, see, that, that's been his main enemy, the men of Israel. And he used our women against us to basically attack us and bring us down. Now, don't get me wrong, we're doing horrible. Through baby mama drama to fucking um child support to alimony if you got anything if you got a damn house she's taking that if you got a damn car she's taking that you know she's taking your children she's using your children against you you're trying to see the children all that shit man see all that stuff is now starting to fall back on them they're going through um divorce court they're on maury uh you are not the father and all this other stuff all these things are happening to them now see so let's get um let's go to galatians 6 and 7 and it's not going to be a long lesson. I'm just out here and about, man. Uh, kind of enjoying a little bit of this weather that you have about Shimmy and Washai. You know, a little, little breakthrough. Went a bad winter. We went out, man. We done camp throughout the winter. We had a couple of few cold days, you know what I'm saying, on some Saturdays or whatever, whatever. But overall, you know, it wasn't to the point where we couldn't go out. I'll put it that way. So all praises to you. How about Shimmy and Washai for that? So it's nice out right now. But um, this is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So what Esau basically has put out here, what he has sown, he's reaping it now. See, he, he's that farmer. He's been farming and, and sowing seed and not knowing that he's going to get some, some, some fruit from it. Everybody really is a farmer, you know, deep down, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that's walking the planet is an actual farmer. We, you all, we all have the, the ability to sow seed and reap harvests because you reap what you sow, whether it's goodness or badness. And Esau has, has sown a lot of wickedness, a lot of bloodshed, a lot of raping, a lot of robbing, a lot of pillaging. He's been all over the earth. He's all over the earth right now. Everywhere this man goes, it's, it's people that are oppressed, man. He comes in with his democracy. He depressed the people. He, he, he puts the woman against the man. And, and matter of fact, that um, that Proverbs chapter 6, it also goes off into causing discord among brethren. Where you separate a family. You know, you put a brother against a brother, a sister against a sister, or a husband against his wife, or a wife against her, her husband. This is what the so-called white man has been notorious for doing. So now, when you look at their households, they're doing horrible. That same trap that they set for us is actually they're falling into it, man. So now, let me get Galatians 6 and 7 again. It says, be not mocked. Or, um, it's like, you. be not deceived. Yeah, how is not mocked? For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So now, that also goes off into nations of people, right? Because Esau, he's the progenitor of the white race. He had children. Those children became a nation. And now those millions and millions of people are here and they're running the earth. Job 9 and 24 says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So they're running things. They're over the entire planet. And guess what? They're over and have been ruling over the Israelites for, you know, shit, hundreds of years. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. Our people are just in these countries, wherever we've been scattered to, just working to sleep, basically paying taxes. That's it, man. Paying tribute. You know, low rent money, you know, that, you know, falling short here, coming up on this there, needing to borrow this there, need to do, you know, and it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and him having mercy on us and, and actually taking care of us, man, and, and keeping a remnant of us of a, alive, man, amongst this wicked ass man, man. It's, it, it's, it's a blessing that it's only, you know, that it's a, a, you know, a remnant of us left, man. If it was up to the so called white man, all Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans would be dead and gone man this is what he's been trying to do he just hasn't been able to do it because it's not the will of the lord see the will of the lord is for us to be punished but not to the extent that esau wants to do it and he's done he od with even the shit that he was allowed to do 
But this is Job 34 and 29. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See? So the Lord, he deals with nations and he deals with men only within those nations. He brings nations up and he, he brings them down. Matter of fact, um, I can't think of that one. Uh, let's see, Salak here. Matter of fact, I can't get this one. Let's get first Samuel. Not the one that I want, but still touches on the point. 1 Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh rich and maketh, the Lord maketh poor, Salakia. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and he lifteth up. See? He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he hath set the world upon them. So the Lord, he can do what he wants, man. See, he can do what he wants. He can set up any nation that he wants to set up. He can set them up. That just like he set the so-called white man up to run the globe right now. He's going to take them down. And he's going to put them in captivity the same way that they, you know, he, he put us in captivity. And then he's going to raise us up. So what? Right? Let's get, um, um what's that, uh, second address? Six. We start at verse seven. Then answered I and said, what shall be the, the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of that of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first on the hill of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See? So this man, he's in his kingdom, is running right now, but the Lord is 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 trickling it, man. It, he he's he's he's, you know, it's time for it to stop. His kingdom has slowed. It has it has come to a real halt, really, because there's no mirth in this place like how it used to be. There was a time when the so-called white man, man, they partied like it was, man. They used to, man. If, now they just worried about bills, just like everybody else. Why? Because those, you know, what they've sown, they're reaping now. See, there was a time when they could easily go get a job. You know what I'm saying? Work and shit. The man, he would take care of the home. Had two cars. All that shit. Be able to go on vacations. And hell, the wife, she could stay at home. And she would literally raise the children and do all these different things. So over these past couple of decades, really, Esau, Edom's kingdom has fallen. So And it's continuing to fall. And, and, and so we're now at... The end of this season, so to speak. It's almost like, you know, um, summer is coming in right now. You, you can start to see, you start to see like the blooms. So what happened? Winter ended. Right? And this is what Esau Edom's kingdom is like. It's like winter ending. He's ending just like winter. So now things are starting to bloom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, things are starting to spring forth. You know, um, life is starting to spring forth. It's starting to get warm. There's not going to be no Esau is like snow in the summertime. He's 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 melted, man. He's through. He's not coming back. And there's not going to be another season where he's going to come back through, you know, as far as like four seasons and roll around. No, he's through with this particular um, um rulership. This is his last rule. Hoorah, man. He's not coming back around, man. But anyway, let me just grab one more precept. Uh, let's get Job 12 and 23. Yeah, man, the Lord is cold. Let me see. Oh, yeah, man, I can get a little bit more on this. Man, it's so I can, man, you can, you, you, man, it's so much on, we can get this whole chapter dang on there. Man, Salakia. Let me start at verse. 
Job 12 and 9. Let's start at verse 9. Who knoweth not in all these things that the hand of the Lord had wrought this, in whose hand is the soul of every living thing, and the breath of all mankind? Do of not the ear try words, and the mouth tastes meat? With the ancient is wisdom, and in length of days understanding. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understanding. Behold, he breaketh down. And it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a man and there can be no opening. See, this is what's about to happen to Esau. There's no coming back. See, he's trying. That's why, you know, you'll have somebody like Trump. They out here like talking about make America great again. You know, you got this other Edomite Biden talking about build back better. You know, they're trying, but they're not going to be able to do it. Because they can't overpower the Lord. The Lord has set a boundary for them and they can't pass it. Okay, it says, um... Behold, he withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also, he sendeth them out, and they overturn the earth. With him is strength and wisdom. The, de the deceived and the deceiver are his. Right? He leadeth counselors away spoiled, and maketh the judges fools. He looseneth the, bond, the bonds of kings, and girdeth their loins with a girdle. He leadeth princes away spoiled, and overthroweth the mighty. This is what's happening right now. He removeth away the speech of the trusty and take away the understanding of the aged. See, they used to be the ones with all the understanding. Now they on TV looking stupid as hell. It says he poureth contempt upon princes and weakeneth the strength of the mighty. He discovereth deep things out of out of darkness and bringeth out to light the shadow of death. He increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. This is the point that I wanted to make. He he increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. He enlarges the nations and straighteneth them again. See, he enlarged the uh, 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 Esau Edom. Now he's about to, uh, uh, you know, bring his ass down to the ground, man. When that, that scripture talks about um, um, come down and sit in the dust. Verse 24 says, he taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in a wilderness where there is no way. They grope in dark without light and maketh them to stagger like a drunken man. Hey, that's the Lord, man. Let me see. Um, since I quoted this other one, let me see if I can find it real quick. Uh, so lock it. Bear with me. Yeah, man, it's time for Esau. Hey, the, he's about to kick the bus, man. He's about to kick. He's about to kick the dust. Yep, Isaiah forty-seven and one. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right? Take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the leg, uncover the, the thigh, pass over the, the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen, and I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. So when the Lord comes, it's going to be real nasty for Esau, man. But in the meanwhile, the Lord going to let these nations get a lick. They're going to get a lick with them thermonuclear weapons, man. Those, those ICBMs, man. Those intercontinental ballistic missiles, man, about to hit this place, man. So, and this is, you know, Babylon the Great as far as America. In the meanwhile... All of the Edomites are going into um captivity, man. The rest of them that survive the you know the um the, the the disaster that's to come, they're going into um you know slavery, man. Hardcore, rigorous slavery. Same way that they done us, and the Lord said to give them double, and um you know they, they, because they've shown no mercy, they will receive no mercy. So it's not going to be a good look for Esau, man. So I just wanted to just touch on that real quick. I'm not going to keep the lesson long. You know, had those couple of precepts and just by the spirit, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of nice out standing out here. It got dark on me, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, nice out, though. Generally, I throw a couple of things on the grill, man. It's, you, know, you know, it's getting a little later. Still could, but, hey, it is what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Hey, know that the, the work that we're doing is not going to be in vain. The Lord is not, the Lord is going to reward the man for 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 doing what they're doing man don't don't think that the lord is not going to reward you for the work that you're putting in the time that you're putting in because you believe and you have faith and actually he gave you that belief and that faith you should be thankful for that man that we have the belief and the faith that what's in the scriptures are, and we can see it that, that's the thing that's even more even more um 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 you know better that you can actually see 
the words off the pages, man, in real life. And no one else around you can. I mean, it, it, you know, it's not aggravating. You know, you, you, it's a little vexing sin that they don't, you know, you're just like, how do you, how they don't get it? But we understand that it's by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Washah that we even get it. So you should be thankful. Now, these billions of people on the planet, man, the Lord shows you something very beautiful and very great. And that's why we should be working hard. The Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And if you love me, feed the flock, feed, feed the sheep, feed my sheep. That's why, you know, you should be daily doing lessons. You should be daily doing something, man. You know, you should be daily doing lessons, man. There's nothing to do a quick lesson, man. If you reading, because you should be daily reading. If you come across a precept, it's nothing to put together a lesson off that precept, man. You got the blue letter Bible, which you can go off into the um, concordance or you can go off into um, um, cross references. It's going to give you a whole plethora of, uh, uh, of um, precepts. Of just one scripture. You can do one lesson off one scripture, man. You can pull that the concordance up, so to speak, or the um the cross reference and, and click on that one verse, and you're gonna see maybe five, ten, fifteen, sometimes twenty verses, man. Of giving more understanding in the blue letter, going off into the word. You might just see one word and like, ah, oh, well, let me do a, 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 a something on this word. What does this word mean in the Greek? They even got commentaries. They got history. There's so many things that you can do a lesson on, man. So don't 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 hold up, man. You got to feed the flock. We're, we're to warn the flock. You know, so I'm going to end out there, man. I pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Kwame Yashallah.